Moon Base Alpha status report 2,310 days after leaving Earth orbit. Dr. Helena Russell recording. Two days ago, we made contact with an Earth-type planet in our west quadrant. First reports indicate that it can support our life forms. Our survey team is carrying out a thorough investigation to substantiate this report. Until the tests are complete, Commander Koenig has imposed a strict quarantine on all food, water, and minerals. The planet appears to be uninhabited, although word has come through that the survey team has discovered a mysterious structure. Did you check for life signs? Well, molecular bonding's pretty sophisticated, Commander. Sensor beams just bounce off. Well, there's got to be a way in. Tony! John, I was just about to call in. Oh, boy, you should see this place. It's fantastic. There's a valley here that's absolutely perfect for us. Hate to spoil the flow, but we've discovered signs of civilization here. Some kind of sealed living area. Tony, head back immediately. I'd like everyone in close until we check it out. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Come on. Food. Water. Minerals. The planet's a wonder. It's raw data. We usually wait until the computer has processed it, Maya. Yes, but the computer's so slow. Only to a Psycon mine. Anyway, I wish we were with them. Why should they have all the fun? Tony. Versus. Fight. I'd say it adds up to a stupid accident. They fell out, a weapon was pulled. Maybe. But why did Tony take off like that? He just killed a man. Found it half a kilometer due west of here. West? Heading away from base camp. The state he's in, he may not know where he's headed. Take care, Elastic. Let's go.
welcome. They still haven't found Tony. They'll find him, Maya. Oh, I feel so helpless. I just keep thinking about him. Alone, perhaps. Hurt and suffering down there. John won't give up until he finds him. Yes. I know. It's 100% safe. Maybe, but orders it to touch nothing, at least until after the quarantine period has elapsed. All right, Kelly. Any luck? We're not going to force our way in, that's for sure. How about Tony? What about him? Is it true? You know, that he's cracked up. Well, I don't know. Ask a doctor. Ask if they find him. If he's still alive. Come on. Let's see if we can burn away some of this rock. He can't be far ahead. Let's go. Spread out. Go that way. No. Now head that way. Make sure he doesn't double back. He's on, Commander. I know, but I don't think he'll use it on me. Go ahead. Entry mechanism? Uh-huh. But no power. Cells. Hmm. And there's a lot more of them. Coding. John, I think we just found a way into the alien structure. Good. Yeah, it seems to be powered by solar radiation cells. If we're right, once they're charged, we, uh, we should be in. Okay, let Travis handle it. We found Tony. Oh, that is good news. Yeah, we don't have him yet. What, then you don't know his condition? No, but we will soon. Alan, you and Spencer pick us up. It's all right. Thank you. 
Tony. Go. Tony. Collapsing into deep coma. Is there anything we can do? I've given him a shot to stop him sinking any further, but uh, without proper medical facilities, there could be brain damage. All right. Let's get him back to Alpha. Tony, tell Helena we're bringing him in. Yes, Commander. Commander? How is he? Sick. Very sick. It's okay to drink, Quarantine. Period's over. How's it going? Another couple of hours should do it. Moon base Alpha from Planet Survey Team. Go ahead. Raise the commander, quick. Tell him. My men, they're dead! Commander, Jerry Travis just called in. Something happened at the alien structure. But communications malfunction. Stabilize this car. Switch it to backup. We're holding. Long enough to get to Alpha. I wouldn't bet on it. I am. We're having trouble with the survey, Eagle. Malfunctions. Can you correct? We'll try, but if negative, we'll head back to base camp and switch to Eagle One. Moon base Alpha to survey Eagle. Moon base Alpha to survey Eagle. Come in. Moon base Alpha to survey Eagle. What's wrong? The survey Eagle's malfunctioning. They're checking out the circuits. Are they in danger? Oh, I don't think so. Only. Only Tony is if they don't get him to medical center. Let's hope they do soon. Oh, I don't know. We've lost contact, not only with the commander, but the base camp communications are affected as well. Something's happening to that planet, Helena. The atmosphere readings have changed drastically. Maintain present altitude. i better check these circuits before we set course for Alpha.
It must have been the fruit. That makes three. Two of my men drank water from the rock pool back there. I don't understand. The fruit and water checked out safe. And now they're pure poison. Base camp coming up. They're on touchdown approach. All systems holding. John? Temperature increase. Helena, the ship's on fire. disintegrated before touchdown. Check on Eagle One. We have to get them back to Alpha. Okay, but you need checking too, so hurry back. Yeah, sure. I leave the medical kit. Maya, how close were they before their controls broke up? Close. Close enough for them to have survived impact. I can't be precise. Well, you can predict, can't you? I can tell you what we both want to hear. There's a chance. Have the results of the computer scan come through yet? I'm analyzing the data now. Alan? Some landing. <laughs> yeah, I have to admit it wasn't one of my best. He's alive. We've got to get him back. Easy, Commander. No one's going anywhere. We're, uh, stranded. Stranded? What about Eagle One? You can forget Eagle One. It'll fall apart if we try to use it. All the metals are corroded. Something else. Three of the survey team are dead. Dead? Poisoned. The sample food and water, which were classified safe, it killed them. What about Tony? What got to him? He's got a few bruises on him. Probably a result of his scramble with Lustig. Nothing that could have affected him. Well, something flipped him. I examined Lustig. It was the laser beam that killed him. 
but I found evidence of brain cell expansion, the kind of pressure that can first drive a man mad, then kill him. What caused the pressure? I don't know. Is, is Tony suffering from the same kind of pressure? I have a hunch that that's what I'll find upon further examination. Well, if you do, can you help him? I don't know. I wish we had him on Alpha. Yeah. Well, by now, Alpha knows we're in trouble. You know, if they try to help us, their eagles will be torn apart the minute they enter the atmosphere. What is it? The planet. It's an ecological disaster. The computer registers a massive buildup in poisonous elements. Wait a minute, that's not possible. We checked, we double checked before our people went down there. I know, it was safe. It started to change when they landed. You mean their arrival is the cause for this change? Well, if the computer is correct, that's exactly what I mean. Oh, every circuit element's perished. Metals have just disintegrated. The plastics are holding up. Oh, great. We can't build a communicator out of plastic. Wait a minute. fibers. Yeah, and uncorroded. Plastic, but one of the best conductors of energy we have. Yeah, they'll conduct energy, but what energy? We don't have any source of power. Oh, yes, we do. Solar cells. There's a whole cluster of them around that alien structure. One set of solar cells, origin unknown. One induction unit, performance doubtful. And likewise, one transmitter. All right, now let's reconsider. Maybe it is the result of natural causes. No, indications lead to a different conclusion. Intelligent life? Mm. Intelligent, hostile, and powerful enough to mobilize the natural forces of the planet to destroy our people. All right, then where is it and why doesn't it register on our instruments? I don't know. Well, unless it's so unfamiliar, its presence can't register. Maybe it's hidden by that structure. Yes, that's possible. According to Alpha. John Koenig to Moonbase Alpha. John, John Koenig, we're receiving you. John Koenig, to How's Tony? Alpha. We can transmit but cannot receive. Our situation is serious. We are without ships and equipment. Three more of our party have died, and the condition of Chief Security Officer Videshi remains grave. We now know that this planet is overwhelmingly hostile to our life forms. We will strive to effect countermeasures. Until we do, I expressly forbid any attempt at rescue. Repeat. No eagles are to come down here. Repeat, no eagles are to come down here. Should they try, their metals, their metals will disintegrate on contact with this planet's atmosphere. It was this phenomenon that caused the crash of... Well, let's hope some of it got through. The atmosphere will soon become impossible to breathe. They won't have time for any effective countermeasures. I have to go down there, Maya. The problem is how. We can't use the eagles. Glider. The re-entry glider. Re-entry glider? Yes, it's made of carbon fiber. We can replace the metal seals on our spacesuits. Right. It has no power unit. It would be a one-way trip, Maya. I know. For two passengers. For two passengers. Yes, 
Force Commander. What are his chances? He might not get through the night. Come in! We're in. Good. Alert Carter. You worked out our launch position. I've tried to assess all the relevant factors. It's a big planet, Maya. A small error put us hundreds of miles from base camp. Well, then we'll discover the joys of walking, won't we? expedition survive but soon I too will be dead to you who come as we did to search for this promised land cease your struggle there is only one way out of this pitiless world death Dr. Russell, atmosphere perimeter coming up. Extremity of atmosphere. Stand by to launch. Standing by. 129,000 feet. 110,000 feet. 
indicate that this planet is ideal. Our people have rejoiced in the good fortune that has guided us to this hospitable land. But as yet we have not located our mining party. A further complication is the inexplicable breakdown of our most vital equipment. He's gone again. Let's try another disc. Wait, he was interrupted. He's coming back. The natural resources of this planet have turned poisonous. Half our number have perished. Our own supplies are dwindling. We are facing disaster. 35,000 feet, stand by for turbulence. We've got to get out of this turbulence. We'll miss the base camp. That's Yesterday, the survivors of the mining party were found in deep coma and suffering with a mysterious form of brain damage. They regained consciousness shortly before death and were lucid enough to describe to us what had happened. We are being destroyed by an immortal creature of awesome power, a solitary being which yearns for contact with other forms of intelligent life. It did not seek to deliberately destroy our mining party. It wanted to communicate, to talk, to express the joy it felt at discovering a form of life other than itself. But the means it chose inflicted insanity and violent death. We must find a way to communicate with it. We must make it understand. Commander, Tony's come around. They regain consciousness just before death. Yeah. Alan, go through the records again. Maybe we missed something. Let's go. Landing site? Yes. Get us down quickly or we'll hit those trees.
try to disarm him. The laser went off. And then what? I, I was about to call in and I, I, I heard something in the weird, weird noise. It seemed to be all around me. The noise it was eating up my mind. I, I tried to run and get away. And I turned and I saw it. Did it have a form? A shape? No. Just light. Intense. Of energy forming, changing. For a second, I I thought it would take on a definite form. It seemed to be trying to do that, but it didn't. That's all. Yeah. Something. How'd you get here? Glider. Glider? I'll tell you later. Tony. I want to see you. Come on. There's no permanent brain damage, no other real damage. Massive shock. It's almost as if the will to live has been destroyed. It's following a pattern. First the madness, then the clear, lucid head. Shortly followed by death. Do what you can for him. We found another disc. It might help. Finally confronted it. I was protected with a suit which was specially designed to block its destructive powers. But the suit was flawed. A simple error in the eye section. I looked at it and I was lost. Insane. Now I follow in the path of the others. I'm lucid. I record these details knowing that I am soon to die. While you were away, we found this. There it is. What is this? Must be a communicator. Now, if we increase the protection around the eyes, it's Tony's only chance. And ours. That's where Lustig was found, right through that arch. Well, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to make contact with the being in that clearing. Oh, don't press your luck, John. Please, be careful. And no matter what, don't take off this helmet. Hey, 
Better memorize the approach. Yeah. Commander, do you read me? Loud and clear. How do you feel? Like I'm in a hole a million feet deep. I wish I could see out of this thing. Yeah, well, you know, the only certain protection, John, is to completely shield your eyes. You've memorized the path. Right. Just point me. Good luck, John. Bear right. Straight. Duck. many as I am. May I show you? Yes. Yes. Helena, Maya, Alan, show yourselves. But John Cody, if I am not I, then what? That is for each of us to discover. How is that done? John Cunning. I speak for myself, though I am one of many. If we understand others, in time, I believe, we come to understand ourselves. Death in your mind. 
What is death? That which we humans fear most, the end of life. And I have caused death? Yes, because you were unaware of life other than your own. You brought me understanding, and death was your reward. I cannot support this grief that I feel. Will you help us? Yes. All will be well. I that am I is no more. I that will be as much to regret. There's no one here. Cast the search. Somebody's taken all our gear. Bill? What are you doing here? The corrosive elements in the atmosphere have evaporated, and Alpha gave me the all clear, and I came in. Everyone's in the Eagle waiting to lift off. We haven't got much time. The moon's moving out of range. Just when we find what could be a lovely home, we can't stay. I know. Bill, lead the way. Ready to go home? Oh, I really didn't think we were going to make it this time. We had a little help, Tony. From a friend.